Oh yeah, guys, spectator drags were a blast, but uh, if you're like me, you like to see the behind the scenes stuff, see what things are really like. So I got a really cool video of the spectator drags drivers meeting, you know, Cletus, James, all of his boys were there. So like and subscribe, let's get into it. And if you like this kind of content, let me know in the comments. Guys, all been through tech yet? Everybody been through tech? No. A couple people in line. If you haven't been through tech, you should be in line. We're gonna close tech shortly after this meeting. So if you're not in line, you know, get in line, let's get you through. Did everyone who's gone through tech get a wristband? Anyone go through tech and not get a wristband? Do you have a wristband? Yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're good. Yeah, wristbands are at the gate. Do we have a, okay. What's the American flag? That's the one. That's right. Okay, okay. Their, card, that. their car yeah. number is on the wristband, should coincide with the car number. Yeah, if you pull car. up and your number on your wristband is different than the car you're in, we can't let you out. You're just, your wristband needs to match your car number because we can't have the same guy driving multiple cars just to be a ringer. What's your wristband number? Uh, well, thank you guys all for coming, man. This is this is the, hopefully the first year of many of these. I feel like we can really grow this. I mean, this is like more money than you can win at most huge road races and drag races. So we're just trying to put it out there and like just do it over the top, you know, and just make this amazing for you guys. So tonight. Tonight, we just want to have a lot of fun. You know, if there's any issues at all with, uh, you know, maybe what happened during the race, it needs to be brought to Josh's attention or mine, and we can address it from there. A couple things we've implemented for this race is we have a finish line camera now and it does have like an instant replay ability. So although our flag man normally calls it, we will be able to make sure 100% the winner is the winner. Um, another thing we should talk about right away on the, the flagging, what we're gonna do for this one is when he raises the green flag, just like a street race, you know when they raise their arms? The moment your arms go down is when you can launch, right? So when the flag goes up, he's he's gonna slowly bring it up, and when that thing drops, you can go. Okay, so he'll look at both of you. You'll both confirm that you're ready to go with a thumbs up or you know flash your headlights. When he knows that you're ready, he's gonna raise his he's gonna raise his arm and drop them. Okay, so if he points to you, get up on your launch control or whatever you may have at that moment. Everybody know the starting line. Yeah, we have a. We have a starting line that starts back about 20 feet. I think most of you guys saw that, that's the white line. The reason we do that is because you can't see the flag stand if you're at the start and finish. So we do a staggered start basically. Um, finish line is finish line. Yeah, but then the finish line, the actual checkered flag is the finish line. So you're doing a little bit more than one lap, if that makes sense. We're gonna run the first two rounds. So the first round and the second round, you can buy back in. So if you come off after the first round or second round, you have to have your money with you and ready. And right here on the hill, you're gonna tell us you wanna buy back in. And at that point, we are going to take your money and put you on the ladder. That's right, it's a hundred bucks. So you can buy Cash back. Only? What's that? Cash only or? Uh, we'll no, have a card reader. We'll card. And you can only buy back one time, okay? <laughs> Yeah, so because of the amount of cars we have, we didn't know if it'd be over 64 or not. It looks like it's gonna be right at like maybe 55 or so. We're going to run the first round and then put all the winners on a ladder immediately. So and at that point too, if someone buys back in, we'll put them on the ladder. What we're gonna do is when you pull up as a winner, we're gonna stop you. We're gonna have you pull a chip out of a bag and then whatever chip you draw, we're gonna stick you on the ladder, okay? That's after round one. So the first round, the way we're gonna pair you guys up is we're gonna do a parade lap and then we have a couple ways we're gonna scatter the field before we pull you guys back out. If you guys haven't been to a spectator drags here before, what we do is we start a line kind of down pit road and it's just like you're going into tech, but you'll actually circle around right here. And then you'll either be racing the guy in front of you or the guy behind you. It just depends on how you get up to the hill. The first guy out, this is just by random for the first round. The first guy out gets lane choice, okay? That's for round one. Once we're in the ladder, 
We're gonna be, for a second round, we're gonna run another round of just single elimination. So you'll do one lap. So first round, you know, it's one lap, whoever wins goes on. Second round, one lap, whoever wins goes on. Starting on the third round, we'll be going best two out of three. And when you pull out for that, we will have a coin that we will flip. One of the drivers will pick lane choice, you know, based on if they win or lose the coin toss, they can choose inside or outside, and then you'll go first run, you know. No paper, rock, scissors. No rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> so like the, so the first, the, whoever wins the coin toss chooses the lane. First round, they get that lane. Second round, you flip flop them. Third round, you go back to the original. Okay, does that make sense? Sorry, it's my first time explaining this, so. <laughs> One point of clarification, when the parade lap is ending, you'll be waved off of the track. As soon as you come over the hill, you cannot leave the line. You have to stay in the line. If you go back to the pitch, you're out. You get out of yeah. line, you're Just out. So when you come over the hill, yeah. you're gonna go line. down, go down the pit road, make a U-turn. Hey guys. Come behind the building. I'm gonna start repeat what Alan said. When we come off for the parade lap, you cannot get out of line and you cannot move or jump out around the line. When you come over that hill, whatever position you are in, as you go down and you turn and get in line, you need to stay in that position. Got that? If there's an issue with your car, try to fix it in line. That's basically what it's gonna happen. Yeah, to try and fix your car in line. If there's a special case scenario, like you need to swap a wheel and pull into your pit, come talk to one of us real quick. Yeah. Does anyone have any rejections to any of the other competitors at this moment? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Porsche. 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 Wait, 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 which one? one? The Hot Wheels one? Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Um, After this, I'm going to ask him about yeah. this bag. You know okay, and one thing to keep in mind, if you lose in the, the first one. round, we're going to host a little loser's race just before we do the second round because we got to do yes. stuff. Yeah. So if you lose in the first yeah, we're round, good. we're gonna put up like a couple hundred dollars and just run you guys. Uh, just basically, it'll be just a one lap quick elimination deal while we're pairing the big dogs. So <laughs> if you lose first round and you're like, you know, you win that losers race, is that an automatic buyback? Nope. No, no, no. <laughs> that's a good idea. I like that idea. For this one, uh, we're just gonna have like a little cash yeah, I'm gonna get a couple laps the losers race, <laughs> and we'll run that immediately after round one. So when you guys pull off, we're gonna be like, "Hey, you want to be in the losers race?" And if you do, we're actually gonna turn you around and just pull you directly up this road to the hill. Versus all the winners are gonna be wrapped around the building. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah. If there's any questions, you can just ask any of the guys in yellow shirts or me or, or whatever. Yep. Um, and then we're, we were talking about doing a grudge race later. I know you guys do this thing up north where you run like two or three laps at a time with like four cars. Hell yeah. Shoot, I'm, I mean, we're down. So <laughs> after all this, if you guys want to do some some fun stuff, um, you know, we're, we're open to that. Horse face off. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, we can do whatever, so. If I win the 10 grand, which is very likely, <laughs> here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give five grand to whoever's below me, and I'm gonna donate the other five grand to charity. Is everybody good with that? The way, it, the way it pays out, like imagine if the way it, is it on here? Oh, well, here we go. I think it's it's 10 grand at first. There. It's ten grand to first place, two grand to second place, and then five hundred dollars to third through eighth. So if you're in the top eight, you're already getting at least five hundred dollars, up to ten thousand dollars. So fix my bumper. And the only way you guys can get that money is if you go to the office. So you know the office on the front side. Make sure you go get your money because we're not going to contact you to pay you. you know what I mean? <laughs> end of the night. Yeah, the office closes at nine. Yeah, the office, gonna, uh, yeah, the office closes yeah. five minutes after the last race. <laughs> Just wait. I'm Just wait up there. No, seriously, try and get up to the office in a, you know, a timely manner so we get you paid. It's kind of a process. I got another thing. So with, with the payout in the past, I know some of the guys from up north like to get uh, crazy. If you guys want to run your last bit and talk about a money split or... You want to put 
your fourth place winnings against his fifth place winnings. That's between you guys. You can do that, and we'll pay it out at the end. It's still the same payout. Well, we'll probably just pay it out and figure it out. Well, they okay. wanted to do it in a line pool where they're betting oh. the money they've already won, basically. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, any other questions? The rental rate. Food on the other side? Uh, yeah, yeah, all concessions on the other right. side. Yeah. Wasn't enough people back here to like feasibly open that. So if you go around, they'll probably get it. For the rental car race, I don't know how many rental cars we have, but we'll run it. Oh, we got six, and we'll just run it like the best out of three. What, what in the show, though? So in the we'll show, yeah, in the show, it's going to be probably after round two. Yeah, after round two is where it's going to be. So as we're laddering the other cars, we'll run the rental race. All right, hey guys, one other thing that we talk about at every one of these. Obviously, there's a McLaren here. There's some nice Porsches, you know. Let's, let's be respectful. Obviously, racing is racing. You know what? I, I mean, if, you, if any of you put your car out here and you get hit, that's on you. You're racing on a racetrack. You know what I mean? And, like, you can't hold that against the other driver because, obviously, he's trying to win. But let's all not be idiots. Don't pound into the driver's door of some guy's car because you're you're losing and you just dive bomb the corner. You know what I mean? Unless you got clear, right? Yeah. So unless you're clear of the guy, you know you got to stay in your lane. You got to give the guy space. If you out launch the guy and you're on the outside, feel free to go down to the inside. But if it's like if you're creating a dangerous situation for no reason, then we're gonna consider not having you back because. We have to keep this respectful, otherwise we're never gonna get, you know, this level of cars. This is like some high level cars for spectator day, mm -hmm. I think. This so. is a thrill show too. Yeah. It's a thrill show, it's not, you know, we're not all here to like this is not do or die. <laughs> Anything else? Arc started at five forty five. We're live yeah. streaming. So we need everybody lined up, ready to go, suited up for parade lap. Parade yeah. parade laps, you guys don't have to have a helmet, you can have a passenger. Just don't get yeah. too crazy out there. If you try to do some crazy stuff, go out solo with your helmet. Hey guys, last thing, the parade lap. We're gonna try and do as many laps as we can to drain the Tesla's battery, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Like obviously, some of us do some pulls down the front straight. Just be, you know, very safe, and uh, you don't have to do a pull. But if you feel like slowing down or launching your car on the straightaway, go ahead and do it. Just lift by the by the start finish line. Okay, don't bomb into the corner. I'm gonna be at turn two. I'm gonna start to shuffle you guys. So whatever you do on the front straight, end it by turn one because it's gonna slow down. That's where the shuffle is gonna kind of take place. All right. Any other questions? Wall riding. Wall riding is approved. <laughs> <laughs>